This is the AT-ST Walker from the new Rogue One movie collection of Star Wars LEGO. Looks pretty cool, and of course it's fun to build. It comes with these three figures, Baze Malbus, an AT-ST driver and a rebel trooper, each with his own weapon so you can recreate your favourite scenes from the film. Let's look in the cockpit, then put the driver in. The top section turns easily, so you can look around and shoot the enemy by loading and firing these guns here. And don't worry if the rebels are getting away, you can speed into action over all terrain. Another great Star Wars LEGO set! If your enemy takes to the skies, you better jump in the TIE Striker and head after him. This one comes with four characters, the pilot, Imperial ground crew, a shore trooper and a rebel trooper. Again, all have weapons and other accessories, allowing you to make up your own battle scenes. This is what the inside of your cockpit looks like, so let's put the pilot in. You can put him in from the front or the top. The wings are adjustable. Plus, there's storage here at the back, maybe for more troops and weapons. And you have two spring-loaded shooters on the front to take that rebel ship down. This fearsome-looking starship is Krennic's Imperial Shuttle. It comes with these five minifigures, two Imperial Death Troopers, Pow, Krennic and Bodhi Rook. Plus a K2SO droid and all those weapons and bits of kit so you can decide who wins the deadly fight. It's really accessible, this Imperial Starship, with a cockpit for Krennic. And the front and side panels open too. Lift this thick armour plating and there's a hold and seating for four of your figures. There's also a rear ramp and storage for your blasters. It has folding wings and retractable skids, as well as the spring-loaded shooters to help you defeat the rebel troops. Roll your mouse over the screen and click on the top right-hand corner for more information.